Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be talking about GTA 5 being banned in two massive retail chains within Australia. If you guys have been keeping up to date with the latest GTA 5 news here on my channel, you should know that in Australia, Grand Theft Auto 5 was banned in Target and Kmart and was taken off sales and there has been suspicion that this could happen to many shops here in the UK. We actually got an official response from the Grand Theft Auto parent publisher Take-Two Interactive and their president Carl Slatoff this Tuesday and he spoke out against the two Australian retailers and that's something that we're going to be going through in this video. So with that said if you guys disagree with GTA 5 being banned from stores in Australia be sure to leave a like on the video. If you agree with GTA 5 being banned in stores be sure to leave a like on the video anyway. We'll see you guys are probably sitting there thinking what the hell is going on but personally I'd just like to put my hands up and say I can't really help out the situation right now but what I can do is bring in someone that can ultimately change the game up and change the way that these massive retailers actually think. And yes, I'm talking about you guys, the GTA fans, the ones that built up the game from the bottom to the top to where it is right now. We've been past a whole year now, next gen's out, and they tried to pull such a stupid stunt. A lot of people have been asking for my personal opinion, I think whoever actually made this decision in both retail stores should be fired. And maybe even a nice beating, a couple broken bones never really did anyone any harm. But regardless of that, we're going to be getting right into what the president of Take-Two Interactive said. He was actually speaking during the BMO Capital Markets Technology and Digital Media Conference. His name is Carl Slatoff and this was actually on Tuesday. And he said that Australia is relatively small and this is only two out of the many Australian retailers. Folks in Australia still have a great chance of buying Grand Theft Auto and I'd recommend purchasing it online. Although it is kind of annoying thinking that they can't go to some of the main retailers and just pick up a copy as they please. He also said if you don't like it, if it's offensive to you, then why the hell would you buy it? So clearly... Those people who are talking shit about the game shouldn't even be looking at it, watching it, or even playing it. I'm gonna give you guys a little example on what this really feels like to me. I walk into the supermarket and I see a bottle of Mountain Dew and I don't like Mountain Dew. Keep in mind, I do like Mountain Dew, but we're just speaking theoretically right now. And I walk up to the manager, I'm like, I hate Mountain Dew, please get rid of Mountain Dew and never ever sell Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is offensive to me, I hate Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew is sexist and this and that and it really offends me in some way, shape or form in which I don't really understand, although I've never tasted Mountain Dew. And then he's like, what the hell is going on? And I'm not taking into consideration that some people actually like Mountain Dew and I've never tasted it before and I have no idea what the hell it is I just don't like the look of it from the things I've heard other people say that's probably a shitty example and you guys are probably really confused but I've got something that I really want you guys to do if you were to ask one question or say one thing to the people who are campaigning for GTA 5 to be removed from stores what would you actually ask or tell them leave it in the comment section below I'm really intrigued to see what you guys are going to come up with try and keep it appropriate not too out of line but then again you know they have been getting abused and they've been getting attacked and cyber bullied because they're making such a big mistake putting their necks on the line just to do something that they probably have no idea or no concept about what the hell is going on they probably haven't even played GTA in their life so if you had to say or ask a question to these guys just one thing what would it be? Leave your questions and comments in the section down below. Hope you really did enjoy the video. Once again, leave a like if you did. If you disliked the video, leave a like anyway. I don't give a fuck. Subscribe to my channel for your daily dose of GTA 5 content. And I'll catch you guys in a couple hours with another GTA 5 video. Take care.